Well, happy Monday. Happy Monday to you, little one. <laughs> oh, Tom. Does that make you think of Paul Kraft? Paul Kraft. Oh, you little have... one. Uh, I... Hey, how out... hello out there in internet yes. land. I'm the Brush Man, of course. Oops, sorry, Mike. Mm -hmm. This is Muriel Anderson, as you know, or you Thank wouldn't you. be here. <laughs> Do I know nobody's here to see me? No, this is Tom Brush, as you know, or you wouldn't be here. <laughs> That's right. And uh, I got the, the nickname of the little one hanging around with you and Paul Kraft. Uh, we were neighbors. and we had Yeah, well, how tall was Paul? 6'3"? Yeah. 6'3", 6'4", right in there. And he'd hug, <laughs> he would hug Muriel and he called her the little one because she'd come up to about his waist, you know. <laughs> And he said, come over here and give me some hip. <laughs> Remember you said that? What, yeah, where did that he, come he from? Say, I don't know where that came from. He had some, some funny sayings. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, he was funny. Yeah. Well, uh, it's great to have you here. It's great to have you here live, actually. Well, and... I'm not sure I'm live, <laughs> but I'm here. Yes, and uh, I was actually uh, still shoveling some gravel when you came in. Oh, God, know? yes. And I told you, don't do that because it's not good for your lower back. That's I right. know all the tricks about getting out of work. <laughs> she got 16 tons, 16 right. tons of gravel to put in her highway and all. You did a good job. Oh, well, I got the neighbor helped me uh, to spread it. I just did the, the little bits because at during the flood, uh, most of our driveway is now nicely graveling the backyard. <laughs> and so uh, we had to, of course, get 16 tons in honor of your dad, Merle Travis. Yeah. Yep. Guy owed his soul to the company store when he died. <laughs> Actually, he, he didn't do too bad. Hey, how do you like my, this is my pandemic hairdo. <laughs> <laughs> my girl, Linda DeMith, that, that cuts my hair, she's been on me for a month. You need to come in and get trimmed. I said, why? Oop. Chew. Excuse me. Little sneeze. Oh, wait a minute. Always in twos. Chew. Okay. In, in, in honor of your wonderful new driveway. Oh. Should I do one of the old man songs? Oh, get yeah. this thing kicked off? Oh, sure. Do 16 tons. That would be great. <laughs> God. Well, some people say a man is made out of mud. Old man's made out of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood and skin and bone. A mind that's weak and a back that's strong. You load 16 times, what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. Do, do had to turn off my tuner, my battery's almost dead. <laughs> well, I was born one morning, it was drizzling rain. Fighting and trouble in my middle names. I was raised in the cane brick. I know mama line, there ain't no hot tone woman make me walk the line. You load 16 times, what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. I was born one morning when the sun didn't shine. I picked up my trouble, shovel, walked to the mine. I loaded 16 times. The number nine coal, the straw bra said, Well, bless your soul, you load 16 times. What do you get? Another day older and deeper in depth. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. Well, if you see me coming, better step aside. A lot of men didn't, and a lot of men died. I got one fist of iron. Uh, I got one fist of iron. What is the it? The other is steel. Of what? The other is steel. One fist of iron. The other is steel. If my right won't get you, well, my left one will. You load 16 times. What do you get? 
Another day older and deeper in debt St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company store Sing it with me one time, you ready? Okay, here we go You load 16 times, what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company store <laughs> well, St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. Cause I owe my soul. To the company store. <laughs> what is that chord? Oh, that is, uh, that's a... Uh, it's an E minor with a D and an F sharp added yeah, on top. Yeah, it's a demented chord, I think. Yes. Demented chord? Yes. <laughs> I know, they're still clapping at home. Oh, yeah. Hey. The brush isn't playing that good anymore. I haven't played for a year. What are you talking about? No, but your thumb still sounds like your dad. You still have that uh, Travis-style thumb. <laughs> and you did a... a teaching course for True Fire, didn't you? Probably yes, I did. Style. Yeah, it's doing about $20 worth a month in revenue, so I know that they're selling it <laughs> like hotcakes, about a dollar a stack, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did, a, it's funny, before you did yours, I did a little beginning course on Travis Style, so I had to don a thumb pick for the first time in a long time and, uh, you know, teach the basics of it. And then you came in and did a course afterward to, you know, fill in the gaps. Yeah, so yeah right. I went down and had the best ribeye I've ever had, ever, <laughs> ever, down there with the gang from, you know, from True Fire. Yeah. It was the best I ever had. I think it cost a fortune. I don't think I could afford to buy it, but they <laughs> bought it, and it, it is the best I ever had. Yeah, they treat you like royalty there. When I I, I always love to do uh, the courses for True Fire. I have a new course that just came out today, about an hour ago. Just got really? Released. Yeah. With True uh, Fire? With True Fire, yeah. It's uh, a course on tremolo technique, and I just put a, a link up to it on my now page, the murielanderson.com slash now. That tremolo so, bit Tremolo bit bitty, yeah. I'll, I'll play a, a little bit of it. And then do, we'll, yeah, we'll do, do a taste together. of it. I can never do this. So it's, it's a great right-hand technique, just kind of gets your whole hand, you know, all working the right way once you, once you get the tremolo going. I'll play one of my pieces called uh, Prelude to Joy. Such a show up. <laughs> so I could never you. do that. I could never do that. Well, if you get my chorus, you'll be able to do it. <laughs> Tell them those are Tom Bush chords. song out. Uh, just five more. <laughs> <laughs> mm 
just it was all in one string you know I couldn't stop it it's kind of like it's like a train gets going. you start with your third <laughs> finger first work it yes. that way yeah that's, I, found oh, that's I can't that's do it any way. direction yeah. frontwards backwards anyway <laughs> but uh, yeah it and uh, I couldn't even do that when I could play guitar <laughs> Well, it takes a, a, a bit of, of work, and uh, I do seven different exercises uh, to get the fingers to do that. And uh, then, after a while, it's it's kind of like riding a bicycle. It's, then all of a sudden, you catch it all at once. You know? Oh. So, yeah, it's it's a pretty tough uh, a bicycle, maybe like a unicycle. You know, but uh, yeah, more <laughs> like, like a riding unicycle. a unicycle, I guess. I can bust my <laughs> ass on one of those. Uh, what do they call them? Where you just lean forward and you go. Um, Oh, stand up straight. It stops. Oh, yeah. Bring it back and goes backwards. That's. I want one of those to shoot a camera from. Ah. With a gimbal, you just start going forward on it. But well, boy, oh boy. You're a great photographer and videographer too. So. You no. Know, yeah. Well. A lot of that. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank uh, you. Somebody was asking here uh, that you know that. Uh, your last name is is uh, Bresh, and it's not Travis. So, did you have a uh, two dads or? A, a, I had a dad and a father. Merle mm -hmm. Travis, my father. Any moron can become a father. <laughs> I've done it myself. <laughs> I know it can happen. Yeah. But my dad, the guy that raised me, whipped my butt when I needed to have it whipped. He make he give me a, some. Uh, Clippers, rosebush clippers, and he tell me to go out to the peach tree. He says, "Cut off a switch, oh, a little yeah. branch," and he says, "Don't make it some little thing, or I'll go out and cut one myself and wear your ass out with it." <laughs> that was more. He never hit me hard enough to hurt me or leave a weld or anything, and I was always had my jeans on. You get this one arm, we just go around in circles. Him whipping my ass, and <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> <laughs> well, to a certain extent, I guess it did, but that's my dad. Gave up his vacation to make sure I could get a new amplifier or whatever just before Fender was giving me amp. That's my dad. Yeah. Travis, my father. That's my bloodline. And that's where you Love got him your dearly. Thumb. Yeah, I got that, yeah, that thumb gene. Because <laughs> I wanted to play keyboards. I'm, a, I'm sorry, Mike, I keep hitting you. I don't have anything against you, Mr. <laughs> microphone. Well, your uh, your dad was a an actor, right? Or worked in the in the acting industry in, in My dad or, was a, a photographer for the oh, studios. Yeah. For the studios. That's okay, why that's I got into did. photography cuz oh, he was a photographer okay. and I go down there and to the movie ranch cuz I was raised in this movie ranch where they made all the westerns. Hmm. And he'd take me down there the time I was 3 to about 10 or 11, I guess, and just leave me with the makeup people or the camera people or something and I knew how to shut up and I knew about cameras and I was always asking these guys why they use that lens and they all liked me and they would tell me and I got to ride on the crane during uh, <clears throat> like the, the movie Horse Soldiers they had uh, like a hundred mounted people dressed up like horse soldiers coming down the main street in this big crane that went up show the whole main street and if you want to ride on the crane <laughs> yeah <laughs> so I got to ride and sit next to the focus puller and all that. So I grew up with a love for music and guitar because of my dad and all the musicians we knew. And cameras because my dad shot constantly. And I was around that movie ranch watching the movie making process. Yeah. I wanted to do that myself. What a, what a fun way to wake up. I mean, to, to uh, you know grow up when you're uh, a kid. You know, and uh, you know, playing on the real sets. You know, where oh, the yeah, Ranger yeah. was shot and everything. You know, I'd amazing. talk everybody out of a couple blanks. 
Yeah. I get a couple of blanks, and my two buddies would talk somebody out of a couple of blanks. So then we yeah. had two, four, six shots. That's yeah. all we needed for a six shooter. <laughs> and we'd go up. We could hear the big buzzer go off up where we were. And I asked this guy at the ranch named Clyde. I said, Clyde, I need a couple of those big 10 by 10 reflectors up, up by the half house. Well, you have to check with the crash on that. I said, he said, get whatever I want, so I'm asking you. Okay, okay. <laughs> and he'd bring them up there, and I'd shoot my friends. I had a Bolex movie camera there and didn't have sound, but I'd shoot my friends with this thing because I could hear the buzzer go off and knew their, their shot was done. And well, I'd... <laughs> yeah, if you go to brush.com, you'll see a lot of really fun footage and uh, some things that you took... Uh, Backstage at All Star Guitar Nights, and yeah, it's a really yeah. Just really go to cool the photography stuff. area of that, that, or the video area, because I mm -hmm. there's all kinds of stuff to look at on there. Yeah. But right play, now, you're looking at us, wanting us to do something. Yeah, let's play uh, Bluebell. What do you think? An old Civil War song. I'm surprised they, the government hasn't made this illegal to <laughs> play because it's a it's a Civil War song. The Civil War no longer existed. <laughs> Well, after this, I would also like to play a new song that I finished this afternoon. Well, I think I finished it. It keeps on changing a little bit. But if you're okay with a song in process, I'll, I'll do that one for you. And, we uh, did that last week. Yeah. You had that new one. Well, this is built off of the new one. The, the tune I wrote last week uh, that was about the flood, uh, I took that melody and wrote lyrics to it. And so that's what keeps on changing. I keep changing the lyrics oh, around. Oh, jeez, little girl, we get to hear you sing, huh? <laughs> Uh-oh. How they're, many they're gonna... reels going to sing a song? <laughs> they're going to tune out now. Let's do Blue Bell quick. farther than that. If you know them, send them to Muriel. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're still looking for the lyrics. Yeah, uh, somebody in this family has got to find those lyrics. Okay, well, I promised to do the new tune, and uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, go back to the kitchen. Oh, you know, one good thing about doing these Monday Lives is Brian Cook's for this and so yeah, I'm looking forward to that because I eat. Brian <laughs> what a coincidence. I eat, so does Muriel. <laughs> yes. 
Okay, so this was uh, partially inspired by uh, f an old friend, uh, Dale Hennington, who was a, a lobbyist for the Chicago Mercantile Exchange many, many years ago, and uh, was inspired by something that he, he said once. Uh, it'll work its way into the song. But when I found this melody, I, I wanted to say, well, there's something that needs to be said right now, and what is it? So this is what I, I came up with, and I call this a Peaceable Kingdom. We all are family, why can't we share a cup of tea? You and me It's not like it used to be Somehow we don't see eye to eye mm, I don't know why There was a time when the elephant and donkey Would lay down side by side Take a look and you will see Lend an ear to find the key and the drummers are all listening to the radio Each on a different frequency Now everywhere you look You get just one myopic clue Divide by two And every time you're searching for the news You only find a point of view Someday all the animals can lie down Maybe even me and you curious what you think about that and especially about the lyrics you know and and they're even though they're still moving around yet uh, but uh, Dale Hennington was a very um, stately person but he also was really f kind of f a fun person to be around and so that's why we nicknamed him Uncle Dale and what he said was that um, it used to be a lot of fun you know hanging around in the House of Representatives in the Senate. You know, everyone would, would fight in the in session. And then afterward, they'd all go out to dinner and, and all be friends. And he said, and that's not the, not the case anymore. There's this division, and it's not really fun to work there anymore. 
And I think now the same thing is happening with families. Families are getting separated, uh, you know, by uh, the one side and the other. And so that's uh, yeah, it's of- crazy. I just I don't have a family to mm-hmm. speak of. I got some daughters out on the West Coast, grandkids too, of which I have never met. Mm-hmm. I have never met either one of my great grandkids. Mm-hmm. I've been at this a long time, and. <laughs> Uh, I just stay in the house with Johnny Cash, my cat, and I stay in. I eat at uh, one of the drive throughs Let me take some comments here and see what... Uh, I yeah, think see who's... Have, go over and, and look and see. Think, if, if we have some other thoughts. I know that a lot of people have had experience like that. Uh, uh, okay, very timely and thoughtful. Jeff says yes. Uh, and... Uh, um, Who have we got with us? Oh, Mark, Mark Sandstrom. Yeah, Mark Sandstrom is, is waiting for Les Paul to show up. He was in the picture with us, <laughs> with the intro picture. That was a photo from the All Star Guitar Night when we had uh, we were featuring Les Paul, and he and I co-hosted it, and you presented yeah. him the award that was at the Ryman Auditorium. Uh, was it ninety two or something? Uh, was that was that night. Ago? I was supposed to play that duet. You know, this is a good story for you, folks, while she's screwing around over there finding out who called. I was supposed to play it, and I told the sound guys there at the Ryman Auditorium, turn my system on because I just take off and play. It'll be on when you play. So anyway, I'm out there talking to Les, and Les says, why don't you just be quiet and play me something? I said, all right, looked over at the sound people. I could hear I had no volume, and I played the guitar. Nothing happened. So I turned it over, and as I turned it over, I heard that they pulled the volume up. So I played a couple, th- a couple of notes on the other side of the guitar, and I said to Les, I said, "Do that on your damn Les Paul guitar." <laughs> and he just laughed at that. Well, that's right. I remember that was funny. And Henry Justowitz, who's the owner at the time, I don't know if he's still there, screwing up Gibson or not, but he was there, Gibson. And he called me over. I said, let me put my guitar away first. I don't wait. I said, you'll have to wait putting my guitar away. And I put it in the case, and I walked over to what He says, I don't usually make let people make jokes about Gibson, but I have to admit that was funny. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks. Yeah, that's, that's a great compliment coming from him. <laughs> yeah, then right after that, he screwed yeah. up one of my favorite software companies. Oh, we do have a couple of uh, requests here from Bunny. If you uh, are... From who? From uh, Bunny Barnes. She wanted to know if on this guitar you can do uh, French Girls or Diana, one of those two. Um, do you notice or... I'm tuned down a full tone? Mm-hmm. And I'm tuned up a full tone here. Yeah, this one. she's up, I'm there down. Go. Yeah. I got a capo here. <laughs> uh, here, I'll give you a little bit of Diana. Stretching to do those things. Yeah. Makes you got to practice every day to reach those, don't yeah, you? Pretty song. Either way, there you go, Bunny and French girl say we we. I bet the French girls would get pissed at me now because you can't say anything to a girl now. <laughs> well, I have a request f- uh, for another tune. Uh, but before I, I do that, uh, I wanted to show you what 
we did for Easter. Uh, Brian actually, uh, this, is, this is for for Brush to see. I wanted, he was asking about the, you know, what we did on Easter, and Brian was the Easter bunny. Oh, he makes a good Easter bunny. Are we going to see it? Yes. Well, here's here's the Easter bunny movie. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I've hunted Easter eggs every year since I was a kid, and you know, was, even though we weren't with the family and with the other, other kids, you know, old. Uh, Habits die hard. <laughs> and I heard your show. I'm wearing my Easter Bunny costume right now. Oh, Brian! Oh, Brian! Look at that Easter Bunny costume. Oh, he's behind the camera there. Ooh, look at those! Those look good. Yes. I better get it off quick before right. this whole video ends. And uh, and then uh, <laughs> after that, we went to uh, Radnor Lake and uh, watched uh, turkeys doing their dance there, and um, gonna. I think I'm going to write a tune uh, based around the turkeys dance. They're just uh, amazing, the wild turkeys. Well, that makes as much sense as anything else. <laughs> and the <laughs> the larkspur were burnt, were blooming there. So if you're anywhere near uh, Radnor Lake or one of the other uh, state parks, this is the time to go out there. Uh, the beautiful purple larkspurs are in full bloom. Ooh. So uh, time to do that. So we had uh, the request for, what? Uh, um, let's see, the one about Coupe de Ville. Coupe de Ville. Oh, that damn idea. thing's like a hit for me. If I was a young guy, I would be on the record company to put that song out. I know it would be a hit in the nation with a full band and done up really cool. But it's a song written by my buddy C.J. Watson. And... Uh, I'm going to play my version of it. Whoever wanted it, here it is. Well, I headed out of L.A. on a Sunday in a brand new car. About a week here in Nashville ought to make me a country western star. I was living in a cheap hotel. My first audition didn't go so well. And when my when my recital knocks, gee, I'm getting old. I can't remember the words. And when uh, when my first audition didn't go so well. When my recital was done, I said, let's do a little, that's the wrong thing. Anyway, here you come, I was ready for Cooperville. <laughs> the only city in the world on wheels, smallest town that you'll ever see. Cause the only population's me, oh Lord, you ought to see this view I've got of the Waffle House parking lot. Till I find a way to pay my bills. I'm living in Coupe de Ville. I was going door to door hitting all the record companies to Universal Capital, Warner Brothers, Sony, and Mercury. About my 27th time around, the secretary took me in, Mr. Brown. And when my recital was done, he said, let's do a little business, son. Oh, by the way, now where are you from? I said, I'm living in Cooperville. The only city in the world on wheel, smallest town that you'll ever see. Cause the only population's me, oh Lord, you ought to see this view I've got. Of the Waffle House parking lot, till I find a way to pay my bills. I'm living in Coopsville. He started grinning, I could see the wheel spinning when he thought about the place I lived. So he put me on tour and he made damn sure I played every single bill there is. 
Up in Asheville, Cookville, Brownsville, Greenville, Louisville, Jacksonville, Johnsonville, Danville, Clarksville, Crossville, Evansville, Gainesville, Waterville, Hooterville. <laughs> and I'm still living in Cookville, the only city in the world on wheels, smallest town that you'll ever see. Just the boys in the band and me, oh Lord, back seats got a couple bunks. There's a drummer living in my trunk. Till I find a way to pay my bills. Living in Coopville, you guys leave everything alone. I don't guess that we ever will get out of this Coopville. CJ, sorry about your first verse. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is Coop what, Deville, what a cool song that is. Oh, that's great. Well, I, th- I think, uh, well, what a great tune to go out with. I think that's uh, wonderful. And, Have uh, we picked all we're supposed to pick? Well, we can pick some more if you Well, that's all. No, I don't particularly uh-huh. care about. Let me see if we have some any more requests here, and I'll, uh, I'll check that out. And also, oh, yeah, I want to mention that... Uh, in order to celebrate spring, uh, we were doing a, or still are doing a spring special uh, on my, uh, on my store, and I want to thank so many people for responding to that. So if you want five dollars off anything in the store, just put in spring, the word spring on the, uh, on the coupon code afterwards, and that's actually enough to get some free sheet music, and I have some Travis tunes in there. I think uh, uh, well, I Merle, just put girls' in... music will love that. <laughs> yes, doesn't do anything for the bastard brother, but Merle's <laughs> girls. I'm just kidding, Merlene. Relax. My sister gets so. mad at me when I say that. <laughs> so uh, I think uh, Nine Pound Hammer, I think, is on there, and uh, s- some other things, and uh, so that'll get you free sheet music if you like. Thank and you for having me this week. Oh, it's always and great I to hang with you. And I even love it because Brian's cooking and it smells good it in here. It does smell really good about now. Oh, yes. boy. And folks, I'm glad you tuned in. Just uh, say hi. I haven't been on Facebook very much. There's nothing to talk about. I don't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, so, all, uh, I know a lot of people are feeling that same thing with the... Uh, yeah, people say, "Why don't you make more videos?" I don't go anywhere to make videos. Let's do let's do a little uh, cannonball rag. I think. Can you do a capoed up? Maybe just to no. do a little a little outer, as we see here. And I you know, couldn't this play is, this, this on Monday. the Dive it's not Bombers a album. I don't know what makes you think I can play it now. <laughs> uh, you know, this is just to have fun, to hang out, and say hello to you all. And uh, you know, that's what these Mondays are about. And uh, appreciate you joining us. And uh, Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, new new tune coming up on the YouTube channel as well. So oh, I get to it. give a plug here. Uh, Friday, I am going in to shoot on television. I'll have a haircut, and I'll be practiced up by then uh, at Larry's Country Diner. Oh, but it won't be great. shown. I tape it next Friday. And when are they going to show yours? Cause you just did Mine it. just showed on, on Thursday and Saturday. So mine oh, they just played, played a couple times. Yeah, Thursday. And well, Saturday. watch out for the brush, man. I'm coming on there. Great. It was ben fun. Hall and I are going to play something together. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, good. Well, actually, when we were there at Larry's Country Diner, we recommended you to them. Yep. Well, everybody's been recommending me for years, and they would never have me. But now, <laughs> well, it must be because of you. Must be. Must, must be. be, baby. <laughs> well, anyway, thanks for watching. Let's let's do this thing, okay? Thank you.
she'll see you next week. <laughs> I'm yeah. out of here. <laughs> oh, anyway, we're just having a great time. If anybody knows where Don Tobin is, have him call me. He's a friend of all of ours, and mm. he can't be found by anybody. Yeah. We're okay. worried about him. Oh, okay. Please let us know. See ya. All right, see ya. See ya.